origin of all these avatar is the Sankarsha. The Sankarsha. Uh, Addaita Achyati Anadi Ananta Rupam Adhyam Purana Purusam Navajo. Krishna is the Adhyam. Purana Purusam. The origin. Aham Sarvasa Prabhava. In the Bhagavad Gita, we say, Aham Sarvasa Prabhava. All the avatars. Krishna is avatari, the source of all avatari. There are ananta, unlimited number of incarnations constantly coming like the waves of the river or the sea, but the original person is Krishna. <laughs> so Krishna says, confirm it, that Aham Sarva Saprabhava, Matta Sarvam Prabhati, all of that, everything is all emanation from me. So, Iti Matta Bhajante Manga Buddha Bhava Samadhi. So, if we simply worship Krishna, Krishna also demands that, Mam Ekam, uh, then all the avatars, all the demigods, everything, is worshipped. Jatha Tarun Mola Nishi Chanena Tirpantita Stand Bujubushaka Rano Paharat Jatendriya Nam Tatha Sarvanam Ochutaja Ochutaja Ochuta is Krishna by worshipping Krishna. Uh, you can worship all the incarnations, all the demigods. The example is given just like watering the root of the tree. You can pour water to the branches, to the twigs, to the grass, to the fruits, or by supplying food to the stomach, you can uh, energize all the different parts, limbs of the body. Similarly, Krishna says, Mavekam Sarang Braja. By simply surrendering to Krishna, your obligation to all other incarnations, Jamina, is fulfilled. Uh, it is not possible to worship all the incarnations, all the Jamina, all the parts and limbs and parts of the body of the Krishna, but uh, simply by surrendering to Him, uh, the origin of Sankarsha, uh, you can worship everyone. And it is very easy. It is not very difficult. Krishna is so kind uh, that he can accept the surrendering and service even of the poorest of the poor. Uh, if you want to become devotee of God, Krishna, no material things can check. Ahituki apratiyata. Apratiyata means without any impediment. Uh, any condition of life. Tiyavasya tatha suddha sthi papa jona sthi vijanti parangati. Krishna is open for everyone. Everyone can watch it. Krishna is not monopolized by any sex or any religion or any nation, any country, no. Uh, Krishna claims, Sarvajoni Shukantya, Sambhavanti Murtaya. All the species of life, uh, as many forms of life are there. Uh, Krishna claims, Aham Bija Padapita, I am the original seed giving part. So Krishna is open for everyone. Uh, and by worshipping Krishna, you worship everything. If you have got a mentality to worship different demigods, different incarnation, uh, that is not possible. Uh, therefore, you can concentrate. Sarvahanam Ochutaja. By worshipping Krishna, everyone is worshipping. Uh, you have no more obligation. Actually, we have got obligations, so many obligations. All the demigods, they are supplying different energies. Uh, 
and we are maintained by that energy. Uh, every part of our body is controlled by some particular demigod. Even the eyelids, uh, the twinkling of the eyelids, that is also being controlled. We are supremely under control. Uh, so therefore, we have got certain obligations. That's why we are controlled by the government. So we have got some obligation also to pay tax to the government, the income tax. Ah. So similarly, we have got obligation to the devotas, the demigods, the rishis, the saintly, sages, because we are receiving knowledge from them. Just as Bas then, he has given us this Srimad Bhagavatam. We are reading, we are getting knowledge, we are perfect knowledge. Uh, then we are obliged to our uh, surrounding living entities, neighbors, countrymen, and others, Dibhushi, Bhutatma, the animals also. We are taking service from the animals. The cow is giving milk, the camel is carrying our load, the ass is carrying our load. So many animals, Dibhushi, Bhutatma, Nina, general people in general. We are obliged. So obligation, there are so many. Devarsi Bhuta to Nirang, Pitri Nang, Pitri is our forefathers, the dynasty of the family in which I have taken birth. So Vedic injunction is that you are obliged to so many living entities and you have to satisfy them. Uh, just like you are obliged to the government for supplying so many amenities, and you have to pay tax just to fulfill your obligation. If you don't pay tax, then you are liable to criminality. Similarly, we are receiving so many benefits from the Indra, Chandra. Uh, we are getting rains from Indra, the moon sign from the Chandra or the moon god, and the sun sign from the sun god. Uh, these are essential things heat and light. So you are obliged, suddenly. Uh, but if you take shelter of Krishna, then you are free from all of the uh, Krishna says, Aham kwa sarva Krishna. If you don't pay tax, then you are liable to be punished. That is proper. Uh, similarly, we are obliged to so many living entities, demigods, saintly persons. Uh, certainly you are obliged, you are receiving so much benefit from them. Uh, but if we surrender to Krishna, saranam saranyam tato mukundam, saranam saranam mukundam, very good to cut from giving little aside. All other duties, if you simply surrender to Krishna, then we are no more obliged. Nāyam kinkara nacha vini charāri. 